Welcome everyone. In this video, we are in the Great League showcasing another very powerful team featuring Polyrath. I've been wanting to run Polyrath for quite some time. I couldn't quite decide on a team, but we have one. I was able to build a strong one around it. It will be the safe swap along with Gligar in the back. Gligar has been putting in tons of work for me as of late in the Great League. I still think this thing is underutilized, although people are catching on and I am seeing more and more of Gligar. It will be in the back to close, along with Licky Tongue on the lead. Officially the best Pokemon in the Great League. I've long been saying that for quite some time, but it is officially recognized and it wins lead quite a bit, protects the back two from Azumarill. For those of you who've also been wanting to run Polyrath, can't quite land on a solid team. This one might just be for you. Very, very solid team. But we had a Whiskash. They safe swap a Dragonair. And I really wasn't quite sure how to respond to a uh, Dragonair safe swap. You generally see that on the lead, but generally a Pokemon that is good on the lead is uh, almost always going to be good as a safe swap. But we react with Gligar and... Uh, a little bit into this mid-game matchup, I was thinking perhaps I should have met this with Polyrath because that's really not a bad matchup. And uh, we are taking a lot of Dragon Breath damage here, but we've gotten this thing quite low. We're not going to give up both shields to control alignment. Licky is pretty good into that Whiskash, and so is our Polyrath. I'm reading that there is perhaps a Skarmory in the back, and there it is right on cue. When you see a Mud Boy lead such as Whiskash or Swampert, you can almost bet the house that uh, there's a Skarmory in the back. They just uh, pair together beautifully. Um, so we're actually just going to stay in here. I see the path to victory lies with our Polyrath. We can just put in work here with Licky Tongue. Not going to shield anything. We do win the ones, but I'm not going to shield anything. I'm just going to let the Skarmory uh, dump all of its energy here. And as you can see, Licky Tongue, despite only doing resisted damage with the charge moves, is actually putting in work against Skarmory. That is the power of Licky Tongue in the Great League. And they have dumped all of their energy. Polyrath uh, can now counter down that Skarmory, no problem, because it's energy dry. Going to shield the first move as we do intend to Icy Wind debuff this thing. But they go Scald. Uh, perhaps hoping for a debuff of their own, which um, I don't think is a bad idea necessarily. But our debuff is guaranteed, which we did fully intend to do. If you intend to go that route, the debuffing route, definitely be uh, you'll want to be shielding the first move. Obviously, that's going to be doing the most damage. And now it is just about smooth sailing, despite this Whiskash still holding on dearly to that uh, shield remaining. They do expend it there, but it's uh, just a little too late, I'm afraid. And they're not throwing a move, perhaps uh, silently conceding. And yeah, there's the official concession there. Skarmory is going to get hit by a Scald, and that would have been all she wrote. Good game to them. I was thoroughly impressed with how all three of these Pokemon performed on the same team in the Great League. And here we go. Nice shiny Dragonair on the lead here. Um, it's pretty close here with Licky Tongue. We do win the ones. We do not win the zeros or the twos. Um, a lot of drag traditionally Dragonair um, leads. They have a Steel type in the back. Uh, could be a Reggie or a uh, Basti. And traditionally a Metachamp, but uh, this is not the case here. They have a Clod, which they safe swap here. We're going to beat this with our Gligar, of course. There are a few better answers to a Clod Sire in the Great League than Gligar. We absolutely shut this thing down at every turn. There is nothing that it can throw that will not be resisted, and I don't want to hear any <laughs> or see any comments pointing out Water Pulse. That does not count. That, that, that move just does not exist in my mind. <laughs> But uh, the way we're going to play this is um, <clears throat> let this thing uh, keep hitting us with these uh, resisted sludge bombs because we want to get low because uh, we don't want that Dragonair to get any more farm than necessary. So we're just farming to the moon here. They get a little antsy and uh, pivot back into the Dragonair and we are absolutely loaded. We grab the shield with an Aerial Ace. We have another one locked and loaded here. Gonna be interesting to see if they wanna double shield this low health Dragonair. They do not. 
And they've got a Swampert in the back, so very interesting. It was Dragonair, double mud in the back, or double ground, I should say. We're going for this dig. They let that go. That is beautiful. Holy smokes. Gligar absolutely popping off. I think we could have finished that game with Gligar alone. Holy smokes. They top left. Polyrath didn't even see the field. Holy smokes. Good game to them. My goodness, Gligar proving that it can absolutely take over a game in the Great League. And here we go. Another Dragonair lead. My goodness. They were everywhere. Dragonair. Dragonite. Non-stop on the lead. I've got a team for that, guys. <laughs> If you want to, uh, if you're like me and you want to uh, do something about this dragon problem in the Great League, I've got a team for you guys uh, coming soon. Stay tuned for that. But uh, we actually elect to shield the first because they threw immediately, which leads me to believe that they've got something to hide in the back here. So uh, we elect to actually play out the ones in this situation, just sort of reading the play patterns of the opponent. We're going to go for another body slam. We grab the second shield there, and now we're going to pivot into Polyrath and save the Licky Tongue. I don't know what they've got cooking up in the back there, but perhaps uh, a Licky Tongue still in play could uh, do something. Um, but they uh, elect to throw a move and let their Dragonair go down. They've got a Skarmory in the back. This is a very good matchup for Polyrath. Despite the type disadvantage, because with our water typing, we're resisting these steel wings. And uh, we get a very clutch skull debuff there. They've got a Vig in the back, so not particularly weak uh, to Licky. So uh, very interesting uh, how they played out that opening matchup. But um, holy smokes, look at Polyrath putting in the work. Nearly taking out the Vig, putting in work against the Skarm, priming our Gligar to... Uh, uh, fully close out this game here. This is looking pretty good for us. We're gonna let this go. They go rock slide That's uh, the only move they're gonna make it to here We wing attack down and whenever you are faced with your Gligar up against an opposing Skarmory You'll always want to go dig if you can both moves are single resisted Dig is gonna be the much more energy efficient move the better move overall so that is what we do, and I thought about maybe licking down with Licky Tongue, but seeing the health, I'm thinking Shield go for a Aerial Ace, which should be just about all she wrote. We say bye bye to the Skarm, courtesy of Gligar. Holy smokes, Gligar, closing out another game in dominant fashion. Good game to them. Polyrath easily becoming one of my favorite Pokemon to run in both the Great and Ultra League. A lot of people don't really prepare for it um, in the Great League, but here we go. Uh, Gligar lead here. Shadow, we, we win this. There is no scenario where we do not win on even energy here, uh, both against the Shadow and the non-Shadow. We win the twos, ones, and zeros against both. Um, and they make a very clutch catch. Um, very embarrassing by us. They should never be able to do that, but uh, I perhaps got a little comfortable in that matchup. Not going to lie, but uh, we had an answer for this Reggie here. They make an awesome catch onto a Reggie. Very well done by them, but Gligar is here to shut all that nonsense down. Gligar um, answers Reggie beautifully. Uh, even the non-shadow. Uh, you don't need a shadow for a Reggie Steel whatsoever, despite it resisting our fast move pressure. Uh, two digs take this thing out. We're just going to overload as much as possible without getting hit by another Zap Cannon. And they do let that go, cutting the losses there. And they come in with a Dugong to get a very nice farm off of our Gligar. But not without uh, having to take a dig from Gligar on its way out. They do let that go as they do very comfortably survive that. No problem. And we're going to just align our Polyrath onto this Dugong. I was expecting a, a very uh, aggressive combo play here. So we were ready for that. Catching that on Licky. And uh, this is, um, yes, yeah, smooth sailing from us. Uh, not a whole lot the opponent can do at this point. They just don't have the alignment. Our team was uh, quite, quite strong into theirs. Unfortunate for them. And we're going to go for a body slam. Expecting a shield here. And uh, they do shield that. The Gligar is quite low. We can just two shield farm this thing down. They are absolutely loaded on energy here. These are definitely going to be the hardest hitting moves remaining in the game. So we will shield those. We don't really need a shield uh, to close out against that Dugong there. So they are very well spent here. 
and that counter does take it out. And uh, they're going to throw a move, putting up a fight till the very end. That is okay. They're still hanging on to a shield there. Going to icy win this thing, um, expecting the shield. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, might as well take the sting off of another potential drill run. But, uh, yeah, they will make it here. And... Um, the dugong will go down uh yeah even non-debuff that would not have ko'd but yeah they do go down put up a fight good good on them good game to them so if you're wondering if polyrath is worth running in the great league i'm here to let you know yes and i'm very pleased with this team i was able to build around it very strong team here but uh we've got a nice juicy sableye lead you love to see it if you're licky tongue Gonna look to fire off a power whip here. Uh, they will survive this, of course, but they shield. That's often what you see with a Sableye lead. A lot of them like to two shield the Sableye. They've got uh, generally have plenty of bulk in the back to afford uh, two shielding the Sableye to control alignment on the lead. But that's just not something it can do against the Licky Tongue here. We're just going to let this go and look to go for another Power Whip here. But they're not sticking around for that. They've got an Azu in the back. There's the bulk I was referring to. Azu definitely has that in spades. And they let the Power Whip go. That is brilliant. That's just going to make this a lot easier for Gligar here. We will shield up the double super effective Ice Beam here. And look to go for a dig, of course, on the Azumarill. Um, going to be interesting to see if they want to shield the Azu here. I'm not sure what they could end up have in the back. Uh, generally with a Sableye lead Azu in the back, they could have an Altaria, which would not be good news for our Polyrath. Down shields at least, uh, which is assuredly going to happen because we do want to take out this Azumarill here. It's uh, not the greatest for our Polyrath for some very obvious reasons. And uh, we do shield up the second Ice Beam, and we KO the Azu with a dig with some energy to spare due to our overfarm here. Thinking ahead, we've got a dig for the Sableye. They have no shields. Down goes the Sableye, and holy smokes, now we see why they shielded the Azumarill. Oh, they've got a Basti in the back. We're just... Um, Toying with our opponent a little bit here. We definitely didn't need the dig. And upon seeing this Polyrath, I do suspect they will top left. Yeah, we did not even need a move. We were going to counter that Basti down. Good game. Well played to them. Yeah, guys, I'm quite confident in saying that this is easily one of the best Polyrath teams you can run in the Great League. And here we go. Done sparsely. Not great for Licky. We safe swap in the Polyrath, and they meet us with a Skarmory. Again, this is a very solid matchup for Polyrath, despite the type disadvantage. We do win the twos and ones, I believe. Quite sure that we don't win the zeros. Um of course um so they, they they actually shield so perhaps they are very weak to a polyrath here all they're definitely weak with that dunsparce but if this is their best answer to a polyrath uh we might be able to put in some work here with it uh gonna go for another scald here on the skarmory and they double shield the scarm so now based upon that play pattern from the opponent I am definitely reading that Polyrath might be quite useful against this opponent's team here. We're just going to overload here. They pivot back into the Dunsparce. Hello? Okay, so we're just going to chip this with a Scald here. Uh, debuff would be nice. We don't get it, but we can put Gligar onto this thing. I'm reading that they are tremendously weak to a Polyrath. So we're going we're gonna to save our, our uh, Polyrath. It's, it's relatively healthy here. And uh, we're just going to look to overload a little bit on this Dunsparce here. The Skarmory does have energy, so it would be nice to be able to hit that with a move. We're going to throw the Aerial Ace here. Uh, that's plenty of farm off of this Dunsparce. We say bye-bye to the Dunsparce. And they've got a Vig. So, yeah, this, this entire team was very weak to Polyrath. You'll love to see it. Going to go for the Dig here, of course. Uh, shields are down on both ends. And I don't imagine they will allow us to get to another move. Justifiably so. They're going to go for a Body Slam, I would presume, here. They do. So now we can just put Polyrath back on to this Vigoroth. Fully expecting the Skarm. I think they tried to catch a potential Icy Wind on it. Uh, but I was ready for that Skarm uh, pivot. 
They go Brave Bird, doesn't matter. We lick it down, and um, yeah, we're, we're going to KO this thing with our licky. Not even going to need the polyrat to finish off this Vigoroth here. That body slam does nothing, and uh, our body slam will actually KO because we are about as bulky as it gets. You'd love to see it. We're saying bye-bye to the Vig. Nice shiny Vig goes down courtesy of our licky tongue. You'd love to see it. Good game to them. Oh, man, guys, I had a blast with this Polyrath team and the Green League. And here we go. Speaking of, we've got one on the lead. Actually going to go into the hardest counter here to perhaps force a swap. I don't want to come in with my own Poly to mirror this because we will forever be behind by a turn. So we're kind of forced to go into the hardest counter, which I don't generally recommend doing, but we have to make the exception here. They generally stay in to um, debuff with the Icy Wind before swapping out. But they have misaligned the switch clocks here, and they meet uh, our Gligar with a Cresselia. So, gonna throw the debuffed dig here. Uh, of course, doesn't do uh, very much to the very bulky Cresselia, especially with a debuff. And we're gonna let this go. We can't afford to go completely down on shields, uh, knowing that a Cresselia is in play, and knowing that we have a Polyrath in the back. I'm gonna go for another dig here. Uh, perhaps, yeah, no, I think I think getting that dig chip damage was nice. And now we're going to come back in and take advantage of the misaligned switch clocks here with our Licky. And maybe we hard commit to an aggressive farm down here, but it was just not happening. I also wanted the Crest to throw a move, but they wisely hold on to the energy as they do bring back in the Polyrath. They shield the Power Whip there, and right about here... I think we made a very bad play. We shield this, and it's an icy wind. Uh, that is just awful. That is absolutely awful. I think we should have let that go and trusted more in our own Polyrath to perhaps bring this one home for us. Uh, but seeing a charger bug in the back, I'm not sure. I think... Uh, I'll, I'm a, I'll spoil it. This one doesn't go our way. Uh, I think you, you guys are smart enough to see. But if we had saved that shield, I think uh, Polyrath would have been, been able to squeak this one out. But without a shield, that's just not going to happen because that crest has a move. Um, yeah, I think just a couple of slight misplays um, turned this one into the opponent's favor. But yeah, I think this one was winnable. We were up against it no matter what with that charger bug in the back. But I feel that this one was winnable. It would have been an up uphill climb. But uh, yeah, as you can see, that skull does tremendous damage. But uh, yeah, this one was razor thin. Uh, we just zigged when we should have zagged on a couple of uh, key moments. And uh, that enabled them to take that one. Good game. Very well played to them. I was absolutely loving this Polyrath team. Licky on the lead, I think, was the play. Uh, the two in the back cover the steel types, which Licky can often struggle against. But here we go. Uh, Dragonite lead. We do win the ones here. Um, so that's what we will perhaps play to. I'll see what they give us here. They do, of course, shield. They have to shield this thing. All of the shields go to a Shadow Dragonite if you ever encounter one. Uh, you can bet the house on that. We do successfully call the Dragon Claw um, bait there. We essentially outpace this thing. We pace to the Dragon Claw and Body Slam at the same time. And of course, they win CMP tie, but they have to build to the superpower, which allows us to essentially outpace. Technically not, but essentially. Uh, and they, we get both shields from them. That is brilliant. We'll take that. Of course, we're going to save our shield. We are going to get hit with a potential Dragon Claw here, but that is okay. We'll let that go. We do survive. No problem. I'm reading um, at least one Steel type in the back. Uh, and uh, there's a Licky. Uh, that is also quite common. <clears throat> the classic line with that Dragonite lead uh, is Licky and Reggie Steel in the back. And if that's the case, Polyrath is absolutely going to feast here. We do let that go. Um, uh, perhaps reading that there is a Reggie in the back and Gligar can handle that no problem. And this Licky is just about done here. And uh, we do counter down. The Dragonite is still in play. 
it would be nice to be able to get to an icy wind. They're thinking about it. Holy smokes. We don't get to that icy wind, but that's okay. We just get more farm on Gligar, and we are up a shield. And Oh, they've got a shadow swamper. Holy smokes. There's some serious shadow abuse going on with this opponent's team. Oh, my gosh. But it has no shields, and we have one. They can play to CMP tie all they want. It's not going to help them one bit. All we do is shield this. We hit the aerial ace, and that is just about all she wrote for this shadow abuser team here. We're saying bye-bye to the disgusting shadow swamper, courtesy of Gligar. You love to see it. Good game. Well played to them. This team was putting in tremendous work. A balanced and flexible team that uh, has tremendous play across the board. And here we go. Metacham. A rare Metacham. Never thought I'd hear myself utter that phrase. Holy smokes. Um, <clears throat> still decent for Licky, uh, particularly in the twos. We no longer win the zeros, of course, with uh, just about every Metacham now running Dynamic Punch with, due to the very unnecessary Psychic nerf. They do hit us with that Dynamic Punch after shielding our Body Slam, which I found to be very interesting. They pivot into their own Licky, so we're just going to chip and dip into our Polyrath here. Um, and uh, look to hold on. And right, now, actually, I think we will shield this uh, Power Whip here. I want to be healthy for that Metacham. Polyrath has some solid play up against Medi. And um, we're just going to look to overload to have energy to threaten the Metacham before throwing this Icy Wind. That's all we need to say bye-bye to the Licky Tongue. And now it'll be interesting to see. They had Medi lead, a uh, Licky Pivot. Could have a Steel type in the back. If that is the case, that is very good for our Gligar. Um, so that's what we're playing with in mind. That's generally what you see with the Metacham Licky Tongue Core. And they shield again. So uh, that's cluing me in that perhaps they are absolutely running a Steel type in the back. We made that read. We're going to let this go. They tried baiting with an Ice Punch. Uh, nice try, trainer. And that allows us to get to a Scald, which should definitely allow us to just about KO. Or, yeah, we do KO the Medi. And there is the Steel type coming in the form of Reggie. And they promptly exit stage left. I don't blame them. There is nothing that Reggie Steel could have done to have any hope of pulling that one out. So good game to them. That's the team, my friends. As you can see, this Polyrath team puts in tremendous work in the Great League. Had to, uh, yeah, put some strong Pokemon behind Polyrath here. I had been wanting to run it ever since it got um, the tremendous uh, buffs this season. I just really wasn't sure about a team early on, but I hunkered down, really put some serious thought into it, and we landed on this one here. I wanted uh, a nice balanced line. And uh, generally, a Licky Tongue lead is perfect if you have that in mind for a team comp. Licky, uh, officially the number one Pokemon ranked by PB Poke. I was saying it last season, easily the best Pokemon. That is just further cemented by the new rankings for season 17. So it makes perfect sense to lead with it. I knew that leading with Licky, it would struggle against uh, potential Steel types. And I knew I wanted to run Polyrath as well. So landed on Gligar few better answers to the strong steel types in the meta than Gligar Pro provides some nice coverage against opposing electric types as well for Polyrath. You pair all that together, guys. That's a recipe for a very strong team to have some fun with and rack up some wins in the Great League. But guys, I had a blast. I hope you all enjoyed. As always, I thank you for watching and keep up the grind. Thank you, guys.